Amid preparations for a commemorative photo in Pyongyang earlier this month, an interesting detail caught our eye. Take a look at the car that leader Kim Jong-un arrived in. It carries the high-end Maybach brand along with the S650 mark. We haven't seen this particular Mercedes model in North Korea before. Analysts think it may have only arrived in the last month or two. And that's not only a pricey purchase for a state that's made no secret of its economic struggles, but it also raises the question of how it got there in the first place, given global sanctions. The commemorative photo in question was taken during that large meeting of North Korean mothers that we covered recently. The conference was held from December 3rd to 4th, but even earlier, at the end of last month, NK News reported that Kim Jong-un appeared to have evaded sanctions to import a luxury Maybach along with Lexus SUVs. As a comparison, a new Maybach S650 alone would have exceeded $200,000 in the United States. Now, Kim has been seen with luxury cars before. He was riding a Maybach when he visited Russia in September, for instance. But this particular model seems to be a new addition for the North Korean leader. And that would be a problem for multiple UN Security Council resolutions. One adopted after North Korea's third nuclear test in 2013 prohibits imports of luxury goods by the reclusive state. A further resolution adopted in 2017 specifically bans exports of vehicles for transport to the north. Not that North Korea has been able to simply stroll around these punitive measures. Just last Thursday, Japan's Asahi Shimbun reported how police had caught a Japanese car dealer trying to smuggle a luxury Lexus to the north through Bangladesh. And North Korea has been known in the past to go to great lengths to import luxury products, including cars. The New York Times published the outcome of an investigation in 2019 showing how two Maybach sedans got to the north after leaving the Netherlands in 2018, then being shipped on a route that included China, Japan, South Korea and Russia on the way to North Korea. And they travelled on various vessels under various flags with the involvement of various companies. North Korea may be using these goods as a status symbol, not just for leader Kim, but as gifts for family members and loyal officials of the regime. Aside from cars, we're talking luxury watches, jewellery, handbags and other accessories, as openly demonstrated by Kim Jong-un, his wife Ri Sol-ju and even their daughter, all the while promoting the benefits of domestic goods to the people at large. <laughs>